Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are working more on my RPG Maker program project. It's been a few days since I recorded, I know. I have been slacking on this, I apologize. I was going to record this over the weekend, but I was in a very bad mental state. And I did not want it to reflect on the recording because that would have been bad. I would have, let's just say I would have said a few things. So, I still did. But, it's in the past and shit happens. So, here we are. I'm, I think I am about done with the first layer of this area maybe I don't really want to add too much more grass to it because I want it to look like it's barren but not too barren if you know what I mean and I did listen to a previous recording that's already uploaded. That white noise you're hearing, I don't know how to fix that. That's the same issue I had with my other headphones. And I thought it was those causing the issue. Turns out it's not. It could be just a normal thing that happens. I don't know what's causing it so I do apologize I've heard the same sound before on other people's recording and it's not always there so I guess they know how to fix it because they know more things about audio than I do so unfortunately you guys will have to deal with it because I know nothing about audio. I don't want to go through the hoops and bounds and get pissed off and just give up. Because that's what I'll do. Like if I cannot figure it out in five minutes when it comes to audio, there's just no point. I've seen on on live streams how how hard it, audio is to handle. I don't want to go through that mess. So you'll have to deal with that sound. Which, honestly, to me, it's not bad. I've heard worse. I've heard way worse than than that slight. It's not even a hum. It's like a it's like a wind sound. So it, could be my, it might be my PC fan, but I'm nowhere near my PC. So who knows? I I honestly don't know what it is in it. It could be the sounds from my fridge or whatever too getting picked up because I'm in the living room of my apartment. So it could be that. Who knows? I know one thing. I'm freaking hot and sweaty. My AC needs to kick on like pronto. <sighs> and I'm also done recording video game content for now I have videos uploaded <clears throat> so I could release those I could set them up for release if I want to which I more than likely will I haven't done so in the past couple of days because again like I said before I was in a very bad mental state and I didn't want to risk putting something in a video description that was bad so that's why I have not released any more video game content as for the past couple of days so for now I'm gonna focus on recording this I know I keep saying that I'm sorry I know I know I'm, I'm I know I'm a liar when it says I'm going to record more of this. 
But I'm going to do what I can. Because I want to finish this. I really do. I've been working on making my own game for going on 20 years now. And I've not finished a single game. I'm not going to ask for money. Because I don't think that's cool. I mean, look at Star Citizen. And anyone who likes Star Citizen, if I pissed you off, get the heck out of my channel and never come back. I don't care. That, that game is a scam. It will never be finished. And they're already earn or they've already earned up to seven hundred million dollars and they have ways to scam you out of fifty thousand dollars no it's a scam don't do it I'm not gonna do a Kickstarter I don't need that the program didn't cost much it's eighty bucks big deal I'm one person by myself doing this I don't need money for this. Like, what would I use the money for? To hire more people? What if they don't make the maps the way I want them to be made? I, I run that risk. Like, like, I mean, I could, but I run the risk of them not doing things the way I want because it is my game. It is not a a game that people want to make. It is a game that I want to make. So there's no need for me to do a Kickstarter or a Patreon or ask for donations of any kind. There's no need. So don't worry about that at all. For the few who watch this, you don't have to worry about sending me money. I'm not asking for it. And I never will. The only kind of money that you can spend on it is when the game is done for, and you can buy it for 15 bucks, 20 bucks. That's it. Nothing else. When the game is done, if you want to buy it, you can. That's it. It will have no microtransactions, no useless cosmetics, no real, no real money gambling at all. I've already said all of these things beforehand, but I'm saying it again. It will never have any of this shit in it at all. None of my games will. Ever. <coughs> and if I do a form of gambling, it will use the end game money. If I can figure out how to make that work. There's no guarantee I can't. Because I'm not coding it with JavaScript. I'm coding it with what the RPG Maker has already built in. For coding, well, the script editor. Well, not even that. I'm using, for those who are new to RPG Maker, in case you are new, this is all I'm using to make my game run. Because when RPG Maker first came out, this is all you had. There was no coding involved. They added a coding language in maybe XP? Or was it VX8? I don't know. I really don't know when they added it in. I f honestly forgot when they added it in. <laughs> My first RPG Maker was actually XP. And it's come a long ways since then. There are some things about MZ I don't like. But they're minor issues. They're very minor issues. Sure, they're annoying issues, but they're minor issues. Do I recommend it? If Actually, is that still available? Hold on, I'm curious. Okay, cool. Um, is that still available? Luna Engine? What is this? It uses Luna instead of... Oh, 
it uses different coding language instead of this content requires the base application for v vx ace on steam in order no it does not no it does not you no it no it does not i have it right there and it's on sale for seven bucks this is not the base configuration unless they made it in the luna engine might be what it means who knows that could be what it means but is this one still around yes it looks like it is no they got rid of it yeah they got rid of it yeah they got rid of that one actually no it's right here I'm gonna see it now yeah so it's still here apparently oh maybe not I can't use it uh, actually no not Oh, cause I, I I own it. I think that's why. So it might be still here, but because I own it, I can't actually use the free version. Or they could have taken the free version away. Who knows? But I recommend doing that first if it's still there. If not, you can grab VX Ace for seven bucks right now because it's on sale. So I recommend starting with that first and then going to MZ. Because MC's for now the best one. I don't know how good the one made in Unity is. I've heard bad things about it. Because it's made in Unity. <laughs> we all know that blunder. <sighs> that wonderful blunder with the Unity engine. <sighs> Fun times. <laughs> no, that's not where you go. I'm going to zoom in here so I actually get pixel perfect accuracy <laughs> well I say that but is it really pixel perfect one thing I do have an issue with is okay I saved I saved my project look at the back arrow though so if you're new to if you're new to RPG, RPG Maker and you want to try MZ it's a minor issue. It's been there since day one. Now, this might happen again. Hold on. Let me, let me try to copy this. I copied it by right clicking, but it did not copy it. That's another issue. Now, right clicking also applies to basically everything in the whole program. You have to right click at least three or four times for it to actually apply something. So I clicked twice and it did not copy it. Now I'll click a third time. There we go. Another minor bug that is even more annoying. And it's been there since day one since the program's release. There's another bug, but I don't remember what it was. They finally fixed that issue. You're welcome. Um, the issue I'm talking about is... And this is for people who are new. For those who are not new to my channel. This is the issue they fixed. And again, you're welcome for this. Because before this was not here the zoom function was not even in the program from day one I fought for that for this feature it's not the way I want it they could do better and this is how they can do better I already own you um where is it? It's in my hidden. Actually, no, it's out here, isn't it? This is how they can do better. 
And again, this is for people who are new to my channel, who have never watched this content before, or who are curious about making their own game. So I'm already in the events session for this version, which is two versions older than MZ. And this version has only one bug, and it's it doesn't affect anything at all, supposedly. But it's like a te like a text bug. This right here is how they need to do the zoom feature for MZ. It is a lot better, in my opinion. <coughs> and fun fact. The same company made this one and MZ, and yet they forgot to add this in with MZ. Fun fact. Pretty sad, but I mean... <clears throat> and if you know how to code JavaScript, you can make anything you want. You can make, you can pretty much turn this into, instead of an RPG, you can turn it into 3D. There might be a 3D mod out there for this version. I know there's one out there for MV. I've seen it before and it looks, it looks great. Like, I've seen it work and it, as far as I can tell, it runs just fine. And it might be for MZ as well. I don't know. I don't know if they ever got that done or not. There's tons of people out there who have made modifications for this program. And kudos to them for taking the patience to do that. I don't have that kind of patience. I've tried learning how to code. I can't even get Hello World to work right. Because it just, it just won't. <laughs> That's how coding works for me. Like... It's just a bunch of jumbled mess in my to my brain. So my brain is not wired the same way as everyone else's. The most I can do is change true false and number statements. That's all I can do. Like anything else is just gibberish to me. And I don't understand it. But I do recommend MC. It does have some pretty neat features in it, other than VXAs. And if you want to spend spend eighty bucks on it, you can, or you can wait for a sale. I bought it day one for half price. It wasn't on sale. But I sent, I turned some games in for Xbox 360 to GameStop, and I got it for half off, because I wasn't about to spend any bucks on it. To me, it's not worth any bucks. It's worth 60 bucks. Even though I have all these hours in it, it's not worth 80 bucks. I'm sorry, it's just not. <clears throat> it wasn't worth 80 bucks back then, and it's not worth 80 bucks now. I actually bet. Given that it still has the same bugs from day one, I would say it's worth twenty bucks. If it was if it if it was bug free, then it would be worth more. But since the same bugs have persisted since day one, it's worth twenty bucks, in my opinion. But you won't see it on sale for twenty bucks for a long time. It's been out for like four years, maybe five years, and I have not seen it more than half off, if that. So, I recommend buying it, but don't spend 80 bucks on it. It's not worth 80 bucks, in my opinion. It's worth, like I said, 20 bucks, but <laughs> you won't get it for that price. You just, you just won't.
Actually, how much is it now on sale? Because the entire... Hmm, okay. How much are you on sale right now? I'm curious. Okay, so it's about half off. So it's almost to that. <coughs> so it's almost to the half off mark. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen it. Which is a good thing. It's getting down there to where it's actually worth buying. <laughs> In my opinion. Now, would I buy it again? Or. Let me rephrase that. If I did research on it. Would I buy it? And I found out that it was. That it had these issues with it. Would I buy it? Yeah, I would. But I wouldn't. I would still wait for a. Um. 50% or more sale on it. I would probably buy it at 75% off. Which would be. Five years from now. When it really hit that mark. Because I've, I've only seen it at. 35% off so far. And right now it's at 45. So. The current trend. Yeah five years from now. Just whenever I would buy it. <clears throat> See, I want to add more to this, but what? Oh yeah, more bushes. I need mean, more more grass and some bushes too. Bushes and baked beans. Wrong spot, dumbass. I could add flowers, but it wouldn't fit the um the theme of what I'm trying to do here. And it might look like shit and I don't care. I've never done this kind of multi layer map before. So it's my first time I'm experimenting. And do I like it? Not really. But I'm going to keep it anyway because I don't want to redraw it. <laughs> and plus, the map's not done yet. I don't like it for now, but once the map is done, it'll look better. I promise. <laughs> I promise it'll look better. And yes, I have the fence there for a reason, because I'm working on the um, low income slash homeless district, though they're not really homeless. They live in tents. And I do have like a few regular buildings here as well, as you can see here. I have a guard fort, I have a restaurant, I have a couple of stores, and I have a, a an inn as well. Because this is where if you did walk in, uh, <coughs> excuse me, for everyone that walks in the city, they walk in through this area so even though it's the poor district I still want some kind of business front down here because in every single like say video game or anime or even live action TV show every major city has a poor district, a middle class, and then you have the 
upper echelon where the nobles live. And every district has its own kind of housing for each type of person. So I figured, well, it's the poor district. Why not use tents? It was something different. They can be a kind of homeless person, but they're not truly homeless. They live in tents. They also have businesses to go to. They have guards to protect them, to keep the peace as well. They have a restaurant to eat at. They have an inn to get drunk at. I mean, to me it makes sense, but it also looks like complete dog shit. Which, I mean, my first attempt, I know. I can't help it. (laughs) It's a different approach, I'm sure, but... I mean, it might look better whenever it's done. Who knows? And if it doesn't, I'll keep it. I don't want to redraw it. I really don't. This might be a shorter video because my mouse arm is being a dick. It's hard for me to use it. I was hoping this wouldn't happen because I want to actually work on this. (laughs) I could... I could switch hands, but it would be awkward. Very, very awkward. And no, my screen is not touch screen. Don't even think about it because I don't want fingerprints on my screen. That is a a big fat no, no. Touch screen should not exist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prove me wrong. <laughs> Who in their right mind wants fingerprints and smudges all over their screen? Definitely not me. <laughs> I am not one of them. And I have a laptop that's touch screen. If I could turn the touchscreen off, I would, but I can't seem to find that option anywhere. I can turn off the mouse pad, though, from my laptop. I did it once in Best Buy, too. It was hilarious. <laughs> I should go to Best Buy and just turn off all of the mouse pads for all, for all of the laptops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be a fun prank <laughs> I might do it too <laughs> cause that type of mice are a pain in the ass to use <laughs> And go to Best Buy and replace all their wired, wireless mouse with wired mice because yes, <laughs> why use a wireless mouse? You need a wire. What are you doing up there, little boy? What are you digging into, huh, little boy? I see you. You silly cat. (laughs) You silly kitty. I actually might do that. Next time I go to Best Buy, turn off all the mice on their laptops. (laughs) Just to be a dick. (laughs) I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. Or am I?
Just heard a car horn go off. Yay! I can hear my neighbors outside talking. Stop it. Why is my ear itchy for? I'm not wearing those stupid hair catching earphones. I'm wearing leather headphones. So I don't understand why my ears are itching. <coughs> um, I need regular trees now. I need I need the fat trees. And my eye itches. Yay! The joys of wearing glasses, I swear. Alright. Where to put the fat trees at? Right there, right there, and right there. Perfect. I think that's good for now. Nice. And I could do more, but I really don't want to add too much grass down down here. So I know this was a shorter video, but like I said earlier, my mouse arm is being a, a douche canoe. So it, it's for those who are new. Let me explain. I am unfortunately disabled. I've been disabled since birth. I can walk on my own, don't worry. I'm not wheelchair bound or anything. If I was, it would be pretty bad. <laughs> I've seen I've seen things. <clears throat> but my issue is, well, I have like 10 issues. And I need 10 tissues for it. Okay, it was not a funny joke, but whatever. My one of my issues are um my fine motor skills makes it hard to do things. And it's been getting worse as I get older. So yeah. Basically my handwriting is worse than doctor's writing. So if you've ever seen a doctor's signature Imagine that, but a thousand times worse. <laughs> I'm not joking either. So, every now and then, since like the past couple of years, it's been affecting my arms as well. It, and it may not be what I think it is. It could be something else too. I just don't know what it is. But I'm calling it this because that's what I think it is. So it's been a, it's been in my arms too now since I'm getting older. And it makes it makes life hard. Like it makes eating hard because that's my dominant hand. It makes picking up a drink hard. It makes it makes wiping my own ass hard because of this issue that I'm having. I can still function, 
but it just makes everything harder. So basically, I just have to let my arm, let, let my dominant arm, my right arm, just hang down to my side for a few minutes, and it stops for five minutes max before it happens again. Then I have to repeat the process over and over again and just bear through it. So, but I've had this issue since I was born. So it's, yeah. And again, it may not be my fine motor skills. It could be my muscles. Who knows? And for all I know, it could be my sitting posture causing it. I really don't know. But I am going to go ahead and cut the video here. I know I didn't get a lot done. I am I am going to record another video later if I'm able to. If I'm not, then I will record one tomorrow. I promise I will record one tomorrow. And if I don't record one tomorrow, I will record Wednesday. I promise. I will record two Wednesday if I don't record one tomorrow. I promise. I know I shouldn't be making promises. Because I break them all the time. But I will record tomorrow. And I will record Wednesday. And I'm going to try to record this more. And that might work out my arm as well. And see if that breaks the kink. Because I used to be a PC gamer back in the day. As well as a console gamer. So... I used to play an old game called Fly for Fun. If you've heard of it, it was a great game. I tried it recently on on browser. They ruined it. It sadly ruined now. Like back in the day I could fight things that were six levels above me and not die. Now I can not even fight without one things that are things that are one level above me before I die in one hit. So whatever the hell they've done to the game is not it's not the same game. But I used to play that and Decaron as well. Or Two Moons as it was called in America. And I never had these arm issues before. So I'm hoping the more I use my arm, the better it'll get. Like, that might be a thing, who knows. And I don't remember having these issues when I was younger. At all. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Oh, thank God, my HD came on. You can probably hear it in the background. But anyways, I'm going to cut the video here. I know it was a short one. I know I rambled on a bunch. And I apologize for that. But... I haven't recorded in a, in a few days, and I just wanted to take a nice, easy step back into it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to like subscribe hit the bell for more and of course comment and if you do have any ideas for what you want to see in my game if I'm able to implement it I will I will add your idea into the built-in comment section and in the, in the game itself I will add your idea in here and if I can actually do it, I will. If I cannot do it, not a big deal. I will. It's not a big deal, don't worry. If I'm not able to do it. But if you have any ideas that you want to see happen, if I can make them happen, they will happen. If I'm not able to, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. They're just ideas. Like, I have all these ideas already. 
And if I can't do them because I cannot code JavaScript, not a big deal. They're just ideas. Shit happens. That's all there is to it. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here, and I will see you guys tomorrow.